G'day and welcome back to Lifestyle Tutoring for Kids. I'm Simon. Today we move on to lesson 11 in our number course. Let's get started. So the focus for today's lesson will be to investigate geometric patterns. We're going to be looking at language like pattern, increase, decrease, term, table of values, position in pattern, value of term. Some quite complicated vocabulary so let's have a look and see how it works. So the question is going to ask you to complete the table of values based on the geometric patterns given. So this here is our geometric pattern. This here is our table of values. So it's going to give us some specific information based on this pattern. Let's have a look. It's got a title, number of squares. So we can see there, it starts with one square, then it goes to two, to three, and to four. So we can start by putting that in. It then asks us how many lines are in each pattern, each section of the pattern. Well, in the first one, we've got a square, so we know, well, that's gonna be four lines. In the second one, we've got two squares, so it would be four plus four is eight. In the third one, 4 plus 4 plus 4, and in the last one, well, as you can see, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. That is the pattern that's happening. So if I look at this, now we want to write, we want to write a rule for this. How can we simplify this? Well, we can simply say that to find the number of lines, we multiply the number of squares by 4. 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 4 is 12. And you might be saying, well, that's simple but then it helps us when it comes to saying, well, how many lines would be there if we had 100 squares? Well, 100 times four would be 400. Pretty straightforward. If only all geometric patterns were that simple. Let's have a look at the one underneath. You can see we've got a series of squares again, except they're not separated. Let's have a look. Again, we've got one, two, three, and four squares, so there's one square, two squares, three squares, four squares. Then it says, well, how many lines are in each? Okay, so with the first one, I've highlighted there, there's still gonna be four lines. Well, that makes sense. It's gonna be just like it is up the top here. Well, how many lines am I gonna add for two? As you can see, it's gonna change, isn't it? I only need three lines now to make two squares. If I want to add a third square, I only add three lines again. And another square, another three lines. So you can see the pattern that is happening in this geometric pattern. To get to the number of lines, we'll have a think, what am I going to do? I'm going to multiply by three and then add one because this is my one extra line to begin with. So my rule is going to be, multiply the squares by three and then add one. Let's test that rule. So if I have 100, if I carry this on all the way up to 100 squares, I would simply multiply it by three and then add one, which should give me 301. Not the easiest of tasks, but it's a challenge and that's what maths is all about. You're about to head to high school, it's gonna be pretty challenging up there too. So, Take your time with this, have a look, look at your table of values, look at the pattern and see if you can work out that rule. Down the bottom here, you might want to use an abbreviated version of PIP for position in pattern and VOT for value of term when you're trying to describe your rule. Good luck with that. I will see you probably in about five minutes. Good luck. You're back. You've either let the video carry on so that you can get some help from me, or you have given it a go on your own, which would have been great. This is what it should have looked like. Quite the task, wasn't it? Give yourself lots of ticks and maybe work out where you've gone wrong if you have gone wrong. Super work today. Not the easiest of tasks, but that's what it's all about, challenging and extending yourself. That's what next week's lesson is going to be about with the quiz. We're going to be checking your understanding of all the lessons we've covered this term and presenting you with that certificate of excellence. On that note, I'm going to let you go and I'll see you next time for lesson 12. See you later.